What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. And here we are. Here we are. Here we are. It's Friday. Oh, man. Monumental day today. That's all I got to say. Today is the day. A monumental day. Ah, that's all I got to say. And let's just say. It's going to be a great day today, all right? Obviously, we got the news right here, and then, you know, we'll go, we'll go over a couple different platforms later on in the day, and of course, we're going to close out the day with the ultimate golden shower that I want to give to Tiwi and his contract, and... This is just a gift that I want to give. I want to give back a gift. I want to give him a golden shower. All right. Well, not him. The contract. All right. A golden shower. And it's going to be one that he's always, always wanted. All right. In crypto. Because it's something that. He's always ever wanted, but just could not achieve. So I'm going to help him achieve that golden shower opportunity in crypto. And then from there, you'll, we shall see where it will all take us. It's an adventure. All right. Can't wait for this to happen. Stay tuned for that. All right. So let's just take a look at what's going on out there. All right. In the crypto news. Bitcoin. It's been uh, uh, in the 24,000, hovering down, up and down. A lot of sideways movement in general, though, with big ups and downs, but it's still sideways in general. All right. And same with everything else in the market. So right now it's relatively 1.5 down. So it's, it's kind of flat. When you're looking at 1.1 trillion in the market, a 1.5% down or up, but still relatively flat, you know, so to speak. And so, try the top five here, Bitcoin, ETH, and then look at that, two stable coins are in the top five. And not too far behind is Binance, you know, BUSD, which is another stable coin. So you're looking at, you know, three stable coins within the top ten. Pretty crazy, you know, to think about. And, uh, oh shit, look at that. Even Dai is right there at number 13. Wow. Okay. So we just keep it going. Let's see what we got here as we move on to the news here, all right? Today is going to be a date of infamy, all right? Wrecked collaboration another day. All right, this is solely going to focus on Money Tree, all right, and how Money Tree, I'm going to treat it a golden opportunity, a golden shower opportunity, all right. So let's take a look here. All right, Rembridge has been used to launder at least $540 million in crime-related crypto cash since 2020. Wow, okay. And let's see what else we got. Hotbit. Uh oh. Hotbit suspends trading and withdrawals amid criminal investigation into a former employee. Uh oh. Hotbit, you know what Hotbit is? Hotbit recently has allowed uh, the Q chain tokens that I've been talking about here and there sporadically. That was, you know, once tied to Cuba Life. You know, you were able to do something with. Uh, this, you know, the Q tokens, Q chain, QDT tokens, uh, for Q chain. And Hotbit was the major exchange for use of those QDT tokens. But now with Hotbit suspended in trading and withdrawals, uh oh, that's not going to be good. That might kill it. Man, we're going to have to do a, a related news to Q chain and QDT tokens. Uh, and uh, over the weekend, probably. All right, so um, let's see here. 
Let's keep it going. Uh, Coinbase faces SEC probe over crypto yield and staking products. Uh oh, another one. Let's see what's going on with that real quick. Yeah, yielding has been a big problem this year. <laughs> now, let's see here, real quick. Um, well, it's just a short little article here, so that's not going to really do much. All right, so we're going to. Move on to the next one here. How about FTC Pro's BitMart exchange breach marking agency's first crypto case? BitMart is another decent sized exchange. Wow, man, this is some cra crazy news today for a Friday. Well, this is stuff that happened over the past day or two, but still, the point is couple of things have been going on lately. Oh, man. What else? What else can be happening these last couple of days going into today? Governance tokens for decentralized stablecoin projects are up as much as 40% over the past week. All right. And let's see. Ethereum's third and final test that merge goes live on Gorly. All right. No one cares. I don't. And... DYDX confirms um, blocking user accounts tied to Tornado Cash. That's another uh, exchange there. Well, I mean, it's not related to money withdrawals and all that, but Tornado Cash was a big, uh, I guess you could say a crypto mixer. Um, and now they've been uh, targeted by SEC and they, they're going to get squashed. And anything that's associated with it, they might go after. So you better be careful. So these guys said they're going to block user accounts now at DYDX. Wow. And look at this. ETH gas prices are at the lowest point since July 2021. All I got to say is... Uh, you know, all the activities going on outside of Ethereum with smart contracts and everything else with transactions. And I think more people have migrated off of just kind of using ETH. So instead, I think a lot of people have been buying and holding, you know, because prices have gone up. And um, I don't think they've been circulating as much out there because the gas fees were once very high, right? And so with that, I think what's going on is that it's starting to catch up now in terms of, well, it's not being heavily used as much creating these traffic jams. And so the gas prices have been going down for ETH in essence, right? So, let's see here. Ethereum Foundation suggests tentative dates for the merge for September 15th, 16th. All right, all right. What else has been going on here? So, we already know about this uh, probe over crypto yield and staking products and the sanctions on that. Um, ooh, look at this. MakerDAO may execute emergency shutdown if sanctions hit DAI, the DAI coin, right? Uh, the Defiant. Now it's MakerDAO's turn. Wow. This is towards um, the impact of the tornado um, cash situation as well. Hmm. Wow. Or is it? Let's find out. DeFi lender stable coin under pressure from USDC contagion. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm right. Never mind. I'm right. I'm right. I keep going, going back, but I'm right the first time. Uh, let's see. The DeFi blue chip is the latest protocol to be struck by shockwaves from the U.S. Treasury Department's decision money to sanction Tornado Cash, a so-called mixer that lets crypto users uh, anonymize their transactions. And so they say here. That, uh, wow, well, if Washington, which is the government, sanctions DAI, the stablecoin, um, it says here, if we get nuked by the U.S. government, we simply die. Wow. 
That's what the founder of MakerDAO said. Wow, this is going to be crazy if that happens. And so on Tuesday, um, it, they blacklisted 38 wallet addresses that froze USDC tokens they held. Wow. That's crazy. A blacklist in the Tornado Wallets has called the decentralization of MakerDAO's DAI stablecoin into question because the token is heavily backed by USDC. So there's a contagion effect going on. Wow, man. So much crap is going on in this space right now. Craziness. And I guess we're going to see what's going to eventually happen at some point. So, yeah, a lot. This is a huge article. So... Oh man, that's that's gonna be some crazy times right now. Um, what else we got going on here, man? Crazy stuff. That's all I gotta say. Um, so I like I like to look at some of these uh, rec plebs and things like that, just to kind of see what the subject matter is on why they wrecked themselves. Or how they got rugged and things like that. So it's just interesting to see. Now this hot bit news is very interesting too at MakerDAO. Man, all I gotta say is, ooh, look at this. Bankman Freed says Voyager deal likely seventy million down the drain for this uh, FTX. Not FTX, but. The Voyager deal that's happening. Wow. That's all I got to say. What is this? Uh, you can tell that's someone else's hand there in that picture. Simply Bitcoin. Terry A. Davis passed away four years ago on August 11, 2018. Um, I don't know who this is or what it is. Look at this. South Korea arrests three people in a probe. A 3.4 billion worth of transactions tied to illegal crypto activities. Wow. That's all I got to say about that. Wow. Man. That's a, this is just some crazy stuff going on right now. And you know what else is crazy? That bullshit Pacey, which I'm going to do an article about, but not article, do a, a video about, and all I gotta say is, Pacey's garbage, you know, he's, he's like one of the, he's the next worst thing in crypto right now, alright, we already got rid of one, that was T, well, we got rid of several, actually, Bits Away, he's gone, he's garbage, Tiwi's gone, garbage, the next one needs to go is Pacey, he's just straight up bullshit, alright, so, the other day I covered Elon Musk news when he sold a ton of Tesla stock it was valued over six point nine billion dollars. All right, wow! Imagine this, you know, six point nine billion. All right, just give me a million. Nah, give me a few million. All right, because one million doesn't cut it these days. And so Kazakhstan launches an investigation into a crypto mining facility, Bing Cloud, over Ponzi scheme allegations. Wow. Avalanche daily transaction count reaches new all-time high. Um, Crypto.com CEO says that crypto industry will come back very strongly. And the Crypto.com coin is garbage. It's a shit coin. Uh, U.S. inflation has fallen to 8.5%. Uh, Bitcoin has reclaimed a $455 billion market cap. Okay. And so, yes, Bitcoin hit $24,000 um, today or yesterday. And what else we got going on? VeChain has announced integration partnership with U.S.-based logistics software company Orion One. Don't care about VeChain either. Hotbit, right? That was the hot news. Uh, Ripple is interested in acquiring bankrupt Celsius network assets. Woo! JP Morgan, all right, who cares? Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, we already pretty much covered the rest of this stuff here. So other than that, comment down below. Good day today. See you in the next one.